as everyone knows, yesterday was Yom Kippur. It's probably our holiest day of the year, where we're really spending all day in shul davening to Hashem. And Baruch Hashem, that's exactly what I did. I spent the whole day in shul, I was davening, I felt very much on a spiritual high. And at the end of the day, we concluded the services, I was walking home, and I was finishing the last few portions of Tehillim that I had to finish that day. And as I'm walking, I noticed that it was getting harder and harder to read. It was so dark outside, so I kept bringing the book closer and closer to my face until I thought to myself, what am I doing? I should just look where the street lights are and then go there and then I'll be able to read no problem. So I looked up, saw the street lights were across the street. I crossed the street and Baruch Hashem was able to read no problem. And I thought to myself that, you know, I'm just coming from the spiritual high. All I want to do is stay on it, continue to feel this energy to be connected and to read my talim. But every now and then you actually need to look up. You need to take a step back and look into the world and see that this Gashmias, this light, this street light, will help me to do what I want so much easier. So I thought that for many people, maybe spirituality, maybe davening all day isn't what they want. Maybe what they prefer to do is work all day. They love their job, they want to work all day. Or if it were Ayala, she'd want to paint all day, you know. But sometimes you need to look out into the world. Ayala needs to look into the world to find inspiration. People need to realize that outside in the world is not a place to avoid, it's a place to go to, to really help you in what you want to do most. For me, I wanted to read Tehillim the most. And the thing that helped me to do that were the streetlights. So, Bizrat Hashem, we're just now leaving Yom Kippur. And the rabbi gave a beautiful Dvar Torah saying that basically all our holidays have many mitzvot. Pesach has three matzahs, retelling the whole story. Sukkot, we have the Dalad Minim, we have building a sukkah. They all have many things. But on Yom Kippur, we have one thing to do. It's to blow the shofar. One vessel, one mitzvah, blow the shofar. And what this is really coming to teach us is that we should leave Yom Kippur taking on, if anything, one more thing to do. One more change in your life that will make you maybe more spiritual or connect to Hashem a little bit more in the rest of your life. So, Bizrat Hashem, we shall merit in the schus of Yom Kippur in a nice new year. I wish all merit to have Gaula and be brought together. But even more than that, we can all do this ourselves by just taking on one more mitzvah, one more good deed, one more conscious act to further ourselves in personal refinement and to bring each other closer to Gaula. Shabbat Shalom.